Hydraulics might sound complicated, but all they are is another force multiplier. They utilise the fact that liquids are virtually incompressible, which means when you compress them, the pressure you apply to one point of the liquid is transmitted equally in all directions. For example, if you have a balloon with a few holes in it, and you squeeze the top of the balloon, the water will squirt out of all the holes. This shows that the pressure applied to the top of the balloon must have been transmitted equally to all other parts of the liquid. In order to work with hydraulics, the equation pressure equals force over cross-sectional area is needed. Where pressure is measured in pascals, force in newtons, and the cross-sectional area in square meters. A hydraulic system works by applying a small force to one piston to produce a much larger force to a second piston. For example, if one piston has a cross-sectional area of 0.001 square meters and a force of 15 newtons is applied to it, then since the pressure is transmitted equally to the other piston of area 0.01 square meters, then the force acting on the second piston is 150 newtons. Hydraulic systems are used in all kinds of things such as car braking systems, car jacks, and on the landing gears of some aircraft. All these applications take a small effort force and produce a large load force. And it's a good job too, because I wouldn't want to change a tyre without hydraulics. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button if you liked the video, and if you want to see some more, you can subscribe.